AWS Cloud Practitioner exam or the exam certificate number CLF-C01 is changing and a new exam certificate CLF-C02 is getting launched on 19th September 2023. So if you are preparing for this exam, this is a must watch video for you. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In this video, we will understand what are the exact changes coming up in the exam. Then we will talk about what is out of scope for the new exam and also compare it with the old exam. And then my friends, we will try to understand what is the impact of these changes on you. And post that, I will tell you, should you continue with your already scheduled exam or should you reschedule the exam? And lastly, we will talk about how to prepare for the exam. So let's begin and first let's understand what are the exact changes coming up. So here you can see I have compared both the exam, the old one CLF C01 and the new exam CLF C02. First of all, please note that the old exam is valid until 18th of September and the new exam is available from 19th of September. Now let's see what are the changes coming. So first of all, my friends, you can very well note that in the old exam, we have four domains. These domains are still kept, but there are some tweaks in the percentages. Let's understand. So here you can see that there is an increase in percentage for the domain two, which is security and compliance, which earlier had 25% and now it is 30%. And then we have domain three, which earlier was called technology. And now it is called as cloud technology and services. And you can see that this domain has also bumped up by 1%. Earlier it stood on 33% and now it is 34%. Now let's understand the areas where the percentages have decreased. And here you can see that we have domain one, which is cloud concept. Earlier it stood at 26% and now it has been decreased by 2%. So now it is 24%. Similarly for the domain four, which is billing pricing and support. This support part is now added in the new exam. Now it stands at 12%. Earlier it was at 16%. So please note all these changes, my friends, wherever the percentage is increasing and also the percentage decrease. This will give you a fair idea where you have to put more effort and where you have to decrease a little bit of efforts. And before I move ahead, my friends, I just want to declare that all this information is taken from the AWS documentation and the links to all this AWS official documentation is available in the description box. I will show you the AWS official documentation in a little while. But let's first dig these changes in a little bit more detail. I will start with the first section or the first domain, which is cloud concepts. And friends, it's really interesting and worth noting how they have changed the structure of the exam. You can see the earlier in the cloud concept, which is the domain one earlier, they used to say define the AWS cloud and its value proposition. And then the subsection is define the benefits of AWS cloud computing. So these are the parameters on which the benefits are given. And then we have this second subsection, which says explain how the AWS cloud allows the users to focus on business value. And this is one point given here. Now they have changed the structure. Now you know that they have given you a task, which is again the section or domain 1.1. What is the task that you have to define the benefits of AWS cloud and what knowledge will you gain out of this? Well, you will gain the knowledge of value proposition of the AWS cloud. And what are the skills that you will develop in this process? Well, you will be understanding the economics of scale and you will be understanding the benefits of the global infrastructure. And of course, you will understand the advantages of high availability, elasticity and agility. So this is how they have structured the new exam, which according to me is really interesting and really intuitive. And now my friends, please pay a good attention here. You can see that this is the section cloud concept and this is section 1.1. This is kept exactly the same in the new exam as well. And why exactly I'm pointing this out, you will understand in the next slides. So here you can see my friends in the earlier exam, that is CLF C01, we had a section which is called identify aspects of AWS cloud economics. But now my friends, the corresponding section to the section 1.2 in the older exam is now 1.4 and that is understand the concepts of cloud economics. And of course, you can read all the details here. What are the changes coming up? I will not get into that. I have shared this PDF file. You can read as your time permits, download it. It's free, but I just wanted to say that be careful the sections have changed let me just compare all the sections of the domain one and then rest you can do on your own so here it comes here you can see that earlier section which was section 1.3 it was explained the different cloud architecture design principles now it is the section 1.2 
and now it says identified design principles of aws cloud and then my friends very important to note that in the new exam we have this section which is section 1.3 which says understand the benefits of and the strategies for migration to aws cloud this section was not available in the old exam and just so you easily understand i have created this table for the domain one so here you can see that in the older exam we had section 1.1 it is still kept 1.1 but then moving on the section 1.2 in the older exam is now 1.4 in the new exam section 1.3 is now 1.2 and lastly 1.3 in the new exam that does not have any corresponding section in the older exam and with that let's move on to our next section and that is out of scope and here you can note my friends the out of scope comparison between the new exam and the older exam so here you can see my friends coding which was out of scope in the older exam is still out of scope in the new exam so do not expect any question that involves coding so be very aware of that do not worry if you are not prepared or you're not from the coding background no need to worry you can still go for the exam and similarly my friends designing cloud architecture is still out of scope troubleshooting still out of scope implementation out of scope but the migration part which was earlier out of scope is now in the scope so here you can see the migration is not in the out of scope section that means the migration is now in scope and then load and performance testing which is out of scope in both the exam business application for example amazon alexa amazon shine and amazon walkmail this was earlier out of scope but now you can expect questions from this area in the newer exam. So now let's talk about very quickly what are the impacts of these changes on you. So friends, the way I see these changes, see in my opinion, Cloud Practitioner is a foundational or an entry level exam and it is valid for three years. And I'm pretty sure that within next three years, you won't be standing on the foundational level and you will of course be moving to the higher levels and of course higher certificates. And that's why I say the impact of these changes are quite minimal and that brings us to the next section should you continue with your already scheduled exam or should you think about rescheduling and as i just said the changes and the impact are quite minuscule so if you're already well prepared and confident in your learning then i can say you do not need to wait or reschedule or postpone the exam just go for it and finally my friends let's understand how to prepare for aws cloud practitioner and of course, my friends, the best source to prepare for cloud practitioner exam is none other than the AWS itself. And this is the official AWS documentation. I referred this in the opening part of the video. The link is right there in the description box. And on this documentation from AWS, my friends, there is the entire free self-paced course on AWS Cloud Practitioner. And without a doubt, my friends, this is a must to go. And then my friends, once you're through with all this self-paced course from AWS, the second source that you can use to prepare for AWS Cloud Practitioner is the video series that I'm soon going to launch on AWS Cloud Practitioner. And in this video series, my friends, you can check all your knowledge that you have gained from the AWS official documentation. This video series, my friends, will have real exam questions on the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam based on the new syllabus. So once you're prepared with the concepts and the self-learning, you can then check out our free Q&A series, which will give you a hands-on on the real exam like questions, exam tips, documentation, concepts, basically everything that you will need to pass the exam. And of course, my friends, as always, everything is free. So in case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do it right away and press that bell icon so that you get the timely notification of this exciting series on AWS Cloud Practitioner. And here, my friends, I want to take the opportunity to mention that I have just launched a video on AZ 900 exam with 765 real exam questions and this video my friends is fully loaded with Microsoft documentation exam tips and free PDF files to help you learn in the offline modes and for those who do not know that Azure AZ 900 exam is the counterpart exam of AWS cloud practitioner so in case my friends you also want to pursue a career in multi-cloud this is the video to start in Microsoft Azure and that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.